Hi everyone, it's Laura Volpes for Moda Scrap and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I created an art journal page using stamps, dies and papers by Moda Scrap. Let's take a quick look at the products that I used today. I used the Daisy's Clear Stamps. This stamp set is absolutely gorgeous and it features these lovely daisies as well as some sentiment stamps. And it coordinates perfectly with the Daisy's dies. This can be used to create your daisies and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. For the quote on my art journal, I used the Funny Alphabet die set and I combined it with the letter stamps in the calendar stamp set, also by Moda Scrap. You can see that the font is the same, it's just a smaller version, so they work perfectly together. To add a few details to my art journal page, I used some of the stamps in the Perte stamp set, which means for you. And then I used papers from the Spring Flowers collection. I'm using the 12x12 paper, but there is also a 6x6 version if you're interested. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box down below for your convenience. To create my daisies, I used white, pastel green and pastel yellow papers by Moda Scrap. And now it's time to have a look at how I actually created this art journal page. I started by trimming down one of the designs in the Spring Flower collection. I chose this blue pattern paper because this will be the sky in my art journal page. And then I started just tearing the paper with my hands. I have to say that this was a little bit painful at first because these papers are so beautiful, but I have to say that it was totally worth it. I love how this art journal page turned out. I then went ahead and started gluing down all these strips to my art journal page and I'm using a large brush and gel medium by Ranger. I am brushing the gel medium on my paper and then I'm going to start adhering all these paper bits. If they hang off of the page, I'm not gonna worry about it at this stage. I'm just gonna trim off the excess and use that to fill in the available space. The reason why I started from pattern paper is that I wanted to have a base already to start building on. And this is creating already quite a bit of texture on my background, both with the print that I have on the pattern paper and because of the fact that I am layering all these paper scraps. As you can see, I covered the top portion of my art journal spread going more or less two thirds of the way and I left some white space at the bottom because there I'm going to use another design from the spring flower paper pad, this time more on the green tone. In the same way that I did for my sky, I tore some pieces of paper and I am gluing them to my page using a brush and my gel medium. I did use a heat gun to speed up the drying process for my gel medium and then I went in with my scissors and trimmed off the excess paper all surrounding the corners so that they would match with the corners of my art journal, which by the way is a Delusions journal by Ranger. So the base for my spread is ready and at this point I decided that I wanted to push it a little bit back towards the background. The colors were a little bit too strong at this stage so I decided to use some white gesso and to cover the entire page. Now this gesso was quite opaque so it was covering up my pattern paper a little bit more than I wanted to so I diluted it with a little bit of water and this way I could put down a bit of a thinner coat on my page. I kept brushing my gesso on the page until it was completely covered. I waited for the gesso to dry and then I added some color and texture with my Distress Oxide sprays. I'm using some scrap paper to create a mask, to mask off the part that will be the grass in my spread and also the sides of my art journal. And then I started spraying my Distress Oxide, not trying to cover the entire page because I want some texture and some variation there. I went in with a second layer with my Distress Oxide spray in Peacock Feathers this time and then I used my heat gun to dry the oxide sprays. For the grass, I didn't have Distress Oxide in the color Twisted Citron, but I remembered that I did have a Distress Crayon. So I scribbled it on top of the page and I used a baby wipe to spread it. 
This was super fast and super easy to make and I really love this bright color that I added to the grass. You can see that part of the design from the pattern paper is still showing through, so we are starting to build those layers in our journal. At this point I used Distress Oxide Spray in Lucky Clover to create the same type of texture that I have on the sky. And in order to frame the scene a little bit, I'm going to blend Distress Oxides on the edges of the page. I used Mermaid Lagoon on the sky because it's a little bit darker than the colors that I have on the sky itself. And then for the grass I went in with Lucky Clover and I'm using my blending foams to blend my Distress Oxides. I dried everything with my heat gun and unfortunately this part did not get recorded but I added a little bit more texture to the background using the Triangles Stencil by Moda Scrap and Fluffy in the color Brilliant White. And I also stamped some of the images in the Perte stamp set using Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide. You will see the result later on, but now it's time to move on and start working on the focal point of this art journal page. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I used the Daisy's dies as well as the Daisy stamp set by Moda Scrap. With the dies, I cut some woodstock white paper, some pastel yellow paper, as well as some pastel green paper, and I am quickly adding some shading to these decad elements using my Distress Oxides and Finger Daubers. For the daisies, I used tumbled glass. For the center part of the flowers, I used mustard seed, and I'm using Modlon on these branches that I will use to decorate my art journal page. I glued my daisies together and you can see you can layer them and they create these absolutely gorgeous flowers. They are so quick to make and I think they will make any project really stunning, whether it's an art journal page, a layout or even a card. Next I decided to also add some stamped flowers, so I took the Daisy stamp set by Moda Scrap and I'm stamping the images using some hybrid black ink on some heavyweight white cardstock. I'm going to do some very quick coloring with my illustrator markers. You can choose whatever coloring medium you like. Just keep in mind that if you decide to add water, for example, to your project and do some more techniques on your images, you might need to make them permanent before you do that. That is why I also used a hybrid ink rather than a normal dye ink for my stamping because that is alcohol safe but it's also waterproof so in case I decided to do more techniques on my art journal I knew that my ink wouldn't bleed. I didn't end up doing anything further to these images but it was nice for me to know that if I wanted to I had the option. For the coloring I am using illustrator markers, as I mentioned these are alcohol based markers and I'm doing some very quick and very easy blending on the flowers. I actually stamped and colored each of these images twice because I wanted to have a lot of flowers for my art journal page. And then once the coloring was done I fussy cut everything with my precision scissors. The stamp set does not come with matching dies, so that's why I'm fussy cutting all my daisies and this didn't take too long. I just sat there and I took my time and as you can see in order to get a precise cut I am holding my scissors straight in my right hand, which is my dominant hand, and I am moving the paper while I cut and this way it helps me achieve a nice and precise cut without too many rugged edges. I'm also leaving a little bit of extra white cardstock at the base of the stems because that allows me to make those flowers a little bit longer if I need to. And then at this point I could start adhering everything to my art journal page. And here I just wanted to draw your attention to the sky background where I have those stenciled triangles and those zigzag lines that I stamped with Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide. I am using Nuo Deluxe Adhesive to glue down my images and as you can see I am alternating between my die cut and my stamped flowers. I am trying to create a border at the bottom of the page that will help me frame the sentiment that I am going to adhere later on. 
and I am also adhering my die cut flowers behind the stamped ones as this helps me create some depth in my scene and I am also trying to reproduce something that artists do that is rendering the images in the foreground more than they do for the ones in the background. And as I said, I am trying to reproduce this effect because this creates more depth in the scene. Next, it was time to move on and work on the sentiment and I decided to use a quote by Lady Bird Johnson which reads, where flowers bloom, so does hope. And I thought this was just the perfect quote to go with this spread. I was looking for something uplifting and positive and this was just too good not to use it. I stamped part of the sentiment on a strip of pattern paper, also from the Spring Flowers 12x12 collection. The stamp set that I used is the Calendar stamp set by Moda Scrap, and then I completed the rest of the quote with some letters that I die cut out of some black cardstock using the Funny Alphabet die set. And then, because I felt that the sky was a little bit too empty, I decided to add even more detail by creating some droplets. For that, I diluted some fluffy in the color Brilliant White and I created the droplets with a paintbrush. Because fluffy have glitter in them, this will add also a little bit of shine to my spread and I think that this was the perfect touch to finish off my art journal page. Here you can see the final result. I have to say that I really loved the way this turned out. It was my first time creating an art journal page and it was a lot of fun. Those daisies are absolutely gorgeous and that quote is just perfect. And that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you to create with the Moda Scrap daisies, stamps and dies. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more card making and paper crafting inspiration. Thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.